Hello, and uh, welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Hello. Hi, Pavel. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. I couldn't tell the class was ready to start or not. It was kind of stuck the last moment before the class started. It was strange. Anyway, welcome to class. Hello. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, this class, we are going to talk about dumb laws, stupid laws in the United States and in other countries. And we're going to use these stupid laws to practice our English. Um, I, we're going to take turns reading these dumb laws, and then you, the students, will try to justify that law. Explain why anyone would ever have such a law. What do you think is the logic behind having this law? That's the idea. Okay, so a little background. Um, hello, Heidi, by the way. Hello. Hello. Uh, a little background before we get started. In, um, in America, there's something that are called blue laws, okay? And uh, blue laws, basically, uh, these are laws that are old laws. That they may be 100 years old or 200 years old, but uh, they never get repealed. They never get erased from the law books. So these laws, because they never are actively voted to be repealed, you repeal a law, they just stay on the books, so to speak. So they still exist, um, but there are never, many of these laws, particularly at least the American laws, are just never, uh, never implemented. Nobody, they don't, most people don't even know they exist. Uh, so, okay. So these laws never get repealed. But they just stay stay on the books. They're officially in the, in the law books, um, even though they, they may be nonsense. So anyway, we're going to read some of these laws and then try to explain to me why do you think the person... Why do you think this law was ever first made? What what reason? What is it? What is this? Who is it trying to protect? What is it for? Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. I'm going to do a screen share. I'm going to have you guys read these one at a time. Pavel, uh, here you go. Number one. If you have uh, water. Through in your front yard, it must be filled uh, by 5 a.m. Canada. In Canada, <laughs> okay. Canadian law. Do you know what a water? By the way, this word is trough with an F sound. The GH trough. makes an F sound like rough and tough. Trough. Trough. Uh, yeah, a water trough. Do you know what a water trough is? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, I don't uh, understand uh, what does it means. Uh, what a trough. Okay. Uh, it is a long. Uh, if you've ever been to a farm, it's a long container that you have for uh, horses or cows or pigs or sheep, so that many horses or cows or pigs or sheep can drink water or food trough. The animals can all uh, eat out of the trough at the same time. Okay? So that's a trough. It's like a long container. You see them on a farm to feed the animals or water the animals. All uh -huh. right. Okay. So the question <laughs> for you is why would this be a law in Canada? <laughs> why must all water troughs in your front yard be filled by 5 a.m.? Is there any logical reason for this? Or is there any crazy reason you could think of? I think uh, nobody can uh, uh, control this law. Yeah. <laughs> 
probably right. In fact, pretty much every law that we're going to look at today, nobody can control. But anyway, at some point in history, somebody saw fit or somebody decided to actually make this a law. It was introduced, it was voted on, and it was passed. Why would this be important, do you think? Is there any reason? Uh, yes. uh, maybe it, uh, somebody wanted uh, to uh, uh, huh. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, wanted uh, yeah. to wake uh, up. Uh, wake up. Uh, um, want to uh, make people wake up in five a.m. Uh, <laughs> maybe. But why would they want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give everybody a turn, but I'm going to throw it out to the class as well. Can anybody think of a good reason for this, Heidi, or hello, Sasha? Hi, Sasha. Welcome to the oh, class. Thank you. Hi. going to say that it might be very cold, so <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, something to do with winter? It is in Canada. That's a point. Uh. Okay. I'll tell you something. There is a law right now in California. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there is a major drought in California. And they have laws about when you're allowed to water your garden or water your lawn. Um, uh, maybe from 5 a.m. people use our water for cooking or something, a shower. Right. Yeah, so until maybe. 5 no one use the water. So maybe, maybe that will, maybe. It might have something to do with water conservation. All right, now the next one. Good luck thinking about a reason for this. Heidi, can you read the... Grocery read the stores may not sell any type of cold liquor in the United States. Okay. Now this is a real law. This is not... This is actually in an enacted law. There are some very strange laws about alcohol sales in the United States. And furthermore, it's different every state to state. You must understand the liquor laws in each state as you, if you travel in the United States because the laws are completely different. What they can sell, when they can sell it, how late bars are open, it's all very true. That Anyway, why... Heidi? I don't know. <laughs> what temperature they mean, a cold? <laughs> yeah, very good question. What do they consider to be cold? Mm hmm. Excellent observation, and one obviously nobody thought of when they wrote this law. Uh, <laughs> how cold is cold? <laughs> Room temperature is okay. <laughs> uh, I guess so. I would assume so. I, I suppose they mean no refrigerated or f frozen liquor. Why? What is the point here? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no. Can, can uh, you, other guys, can you imagine any reason why this would be a reasonable law? <laughs> any reason at all? No. 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 Okay. No. no. Not at all. I I think it probably has to do with I I'm guessing I have no idea either, but maybe are they considering cold liquor? Are they con liquor is not usually considered beer, but if they are, um I have I don't know. Maybe they just want to keep beer and Maybe they're talking about there was a fad in the United States where people drank drink pre-made drinks in a bottle that were sold cold in a store. Maybe they want to remove those higher alcohol content ready to drink drinks. Okay. The, I don't know if you guys have these in your country. We have them here in the Philippines. They're they come in fruity tooty colors, blue and red and pink and yellow and and they're uh, pre-made drinks with alcohol, uh, with 
whatever, vodka or some kind of hard alcohol. And they sell them out of the refrigerator in the store. Maybe that's it. I, I don't know, though. Okay, anyway. Next one. Uh, Sasha. <laughs> here's, a, here's a real law. <laughs> Can you read this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, please. The mayor may not go on strike. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, United States. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Does that seem like a reasonable law? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, think... Uh... <laughs> Disappear. Ah! The mayor got him. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, is this a crazy law or what? Uh, okay, the mayor may not go on strike. <laughs> okay. Kind of seems to me as if the mayor would be the last person to go on strike, but possibly the mayor did, in fact, go on strike, and that's why they had to pass a law. Because in, even the common companies, the boss can't go on a strike. Yeah. Do, uh, in Japan, are there laws about certain certain people can't go on strike, like police or doctors? Uh, or, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Public servants, they can't Public do it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Uh, yeah. That's actually a common law, but why would you have to tell that to the mayor? I don't know. Um, well, here's a nice law, Pavel. Uh, no one may annoy someone of the opposite opposite uh, sex. Uh, no one uh, annoy uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, strange. Uh, it's uh, it's not law. It's uh, uh, the uh, uh, it's what common style sense. Of life, uh, 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 not style of life. Uh, maybe it's the rule of life. Uh, okay. All right. Common mores. These these would be something. All right. It's not a law, but it's a more. Uh, more. Uh, yes. Okay. These are things that. Sometimes now, sometimes mores become laws, like spitting in public. Now, most people in most countries, not all, mind you, but in many countries, spitting in public is considered rude. There's no law about it, but everybody understands that. Everybody understands that you should wear clothes, for example. <laughs> many places, there are no laws about wearing clothes. You know that, right? But on the other hand, in some places, there are laws about how much clothing a person needs to wear. Uh, okay. In any case, what you, <laughs> all right. Uh, hello, Max. Welcome. Hello, Ben. Hello. Why would somebody feel the need to make this law? What do you, <laughs> what do you think? I like it that you may you may annoy. By contrast, that means I may annoy uh, Max and Pavel and Sasha, but I may not. I'm not allowed to annoy Heidi. <laughs> what do you think of that, Heidi? Good law. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why uh, opposite sex. If uh, there's no this yeah. uh, this part. Uh, I agree with that. No one may annoy someone. <laughs> okay. All right. But, of course, Maybe. what annoys someone may not annoy someone else, so it's completely stupid. Max? Maybe the opposite sex cannot hit you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Right. Uh, could be. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Why, why, why? Why would somebody pass this law? Uh, Sasha? I can think of a reason for this one. Sasha, can you read this one? Uh, yeah, a pillow can be considered as a passive weapon, Germany. Uh-huh. There's a German law for you. Why on earth would somebody create that law? 
maybe uh, I think every law was created because uh, after some case. Maybe uh -huh. In this case, uh, maybe uh, for instance, uh, one man uh, stand, was standing at the edge of the bridge, and other hit him with a pillow. <laughs> for and uh, that man just uh, fall from uh, a bridge. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you you have a wild imagination. I was <laughs> yeah. thinking the same thing. It probably got passed after a crime was committed with a pillow. I was considering smothering somebody with a pillow <laughs> while they were sleeping, making it so they can't breathe, or smothering them. Uh, and they probably have laws about the weapon that you, is used in in a in an assault or a murder, in an assault or a murder. Uh, so they probably have different how many years in prison or something like that. So I can almost understand that one. Uh, Max, <laughs> okay. Uh, Max, can you read this next one? I can't. You, Sorry. You can. <laughs> okay. Why? Because you can't see it? No, I'm drinking tea. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. We, need, we need to create law. You can't come into class if you're drinking tea. You're drinking what? Gin? Tea. 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 Oh, I thought you said gin. <laughs> tea. Okay. I, I don't know why you can't speak and drink tea. I'm confused, but all right. Uh, Pavel, all right, how about you? Can you read it? <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, ambling and uh, strolling is a Miss uh, Deminor. All right. Florida. Lots of interesting words here. Hialeah. Oh, another even an interesting town. Uh, what is ambling? Do you know? No. Ambling is walking in a very relaxed way, <laughs> and that's about it. That's it. Uh -huh. And strolling is quite similar. St strolling with no direct purpose. Uh, if you're walking with no purpose, you're just walking to walk, taking a stroll along the beach, for example. Okay. <laughs> Relaxed walking is a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor uh -huh. is, a, is a small crime. It's small a misdemeanor. Crime. Yeah. Like, yes. Uh, in the, <laughs> uh, uh, the same uh, uh, law uh, uh, took place in the Soviet Union. <laughs> no way. Really? Yeah. Really. <laughs> but it was uh, a, a real law. <laughs> yeah, and, well, uh, a lot of people uh, was uh, were uh, punished uh, by this law. <laughs> ah, okay, it was an enforced law, you could say. Yes, enforced law. <laughs> and, and what exactly was the point? Uh, 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 it it means uh, who doesn't work. Uh, okay. Uh, he uh, don't eat, uh, doesn't eat. <laughs> okay, interesting. Now, okay, wait a minute. In the United States, there are definitely lots of laws about loitering. Uh, loitering means waiting around in one area, public area, or public or private area, not a private home, but a public uh, like company uh, or a public area and uh, okay and you're just hanging out it's basically loitering is hanging out not doing anything having no purpose just standing on a street corner is loitering so if you're standing outside somebody's store they could say no loitering <laughs> and there's sometimes in some different cases there are laws about you're not allowed to just stand some places <laughs> so not necessarily walking as a matter of fact in many places in America the very poor people 
they have nowhere to go. They're homeless. They they will people will say the police will say no loitering. You have to move. Now they're usually not going to arrest them, but they keep pushing them. They go to another area and they they wait and stop, and the police say no. You got to keep moving. So in fact, ambling and strolling is all they can do. <laughs> they're not allowed to actually stand. Strangely enough. Uh, all right, that's an odd one. Heidi, are there any rules about loitering in Japan? Just staying in one place? No. <laughs> Not doing anything? No. Seems weird? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems weird to me, too, but anyway. Okay, uh, Heidi, can you read the next one here? It is a crime to share your Netflix password in tennis. <laughs> what? What? Okay, now, uh, what does it mean? Netflix. Netflix. Netflix is you pay a monthly fee, and then you can download movies whenever you want to watch them. But obviously, you're going to need a password to download them. But you pay Netflix money, and they give you a password, and then you can download movies to watch whenever you want. That's the idea. That's a, it's a business. It's a modern business. It's a very modern business. Uh -huh. This is not a law that was made in 1800. This is a law that was made quite recently. So, there it is. <laughs> Many people can use the same thing. So they don't need to pay money. I guess that's the idea. Right. Which, of course, would be fraud in any case. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's fraud. So my question to Tennessee is, don't you already have laws against fraud? <laughs> What's the point in making specifically How is part of sharing a bubbling password? <laughs> what about, yeah, there's, got a, there's a multitude of ways to commit fraud online. That's the weird thing about this one is, why so specific? What does Tennessee have about Netflix? I have no idea. Uh, okay. That's just a weird one. I, I can't even. Sasha, how about this one? This is still a law. Yeah. Horses may not be tied to a tree on a public highway. Louisiana, New Orleans, United States. Yeah. Well, does that make sense? Public highway. That makes sense to you? No, uh, I don't know because uh, how can it uh, m m make problem to drivers? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe if it pulls down the tree. <laughs> Just guessing. Uh, uh, do I? I don't know. Uh, can I tie it? Horse to a tree on a public highway. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, my home state has a law that you're not allowed to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole. So, you know, this, this one makes a lot more sense to me, frankly. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how many people are tying their giraffes to a telephone pole. So maybe uh, it depends on the public highway. I, I will tell you that... Um, it almost makes sense in Louisiana because they have very old roads and um, they have old roads which are public highways and there's not they have oh oh wait a minute what am I thinking Louisiana half the state is in a swamp so the roads are not very wide they're narrow roads and there's nothing out there's there is no shoulder there's no ground the roads just go through swamp so there is no shoulder. The shoulder is the side of the road. So actually, wait a minute. This, this one actually maybe it does make sense. This is in particular in New Orleans, though, where the streets are narrow. They, are not, they haven't changed the streets since 1700. So I can see where tying your horse to a tree might be problematic for traffic. Uh, OK. Next one, Max, are you, you still got your tea? <laughs> no. A life sentence is 25 years. In uh, Australia. Now, does that, make, 
Would that make any sense to you? <laughs> no. Not, not at all. Life sentence, life sentence is, is 25 years. Well, you know what a life sentence is, right? I know what is it life and what is it sentence. Okay. A life sentence, if a judge, you commit murder, for example, the judge may say, life sentence. That means you're supposedly not allowed out of jail ever. It, well, until you're dead, of course, the end of your life. But Australia had a law which has since been repealed. That means they got rid of this law. Probably because that doesn't really make any sense, saying that it's 25 years. That makes it 25-year sentence, and that's it. A 10-year sentence, a 5-year sentence, a 25-year sentence. Just plainly silly. The Clearly, the lawyers or the politicians making this law just don't have any common sense. Uh, all right, uh, Pavel, how about the next one here? Uh, police radar detectors uh, are illegal. United States, Virginia. Yeah. Virginia. Are, are radar detectors legal in Russia? Uh, Illegal uh, in Russia. Radar detectors are illegal in Russia too. And they are. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, I think uh, uh, these uh, devices, those those devices, are illegal in the most country. Uh huh. But, but uh, maybe I make a mistake. Uh, maybe I mix up. Uh, Radar detector, uh, which uh, uh, used uh, by uh, drivers uh, yes. for the police, the police. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, make a mistake. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think you got it right. Th these are used by normal drivers. A, a very funny. Th this isn't funny by itself, but. The, an explanation is very funny. The reality is in the United States, the radar detector, it's only in Virginia where the, having a radar detector, period, is illegal. Uh, yeah. um, but uh, 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 drivers uh, use uh, these detectors without problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, many, uh, mo uh, most Americans, a lot of Americans use a radar detector. In many states, it's very funny the way they work the uh, law. It's it's yes. okay to have a radar detector, but if the policeman pulls you over, you need to shut off the radar detector because it's not legal to use it, <laughs> which makes no sense at all. <laughs> but, but frankly, there's another one in here. There are several countries in Europe, two or three countries anyway, maybe not several. There's a couple countries in Europe where it is, it is legal to be a prostitute, but it, prostitution is illegal, which I don't <laughs> know how that works exactly. Uh, okay. Anyway, we we can understand why this law this is the law though. Obviously, so police can catch speeders, right? It's kind of obvious. All right, illegal to lie down on the sidewalk. That's very close to the loitering thing, which I mentioned earlier. Heidi, can you uh, can you read this next one? Miners can buy rolling paper and tobacco, but not lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. Okay. <laughs> If you can, if you can think of a logical reason for creating that law, I, I'll, I'll give you a gold star for the day because I can't. I don't even know why you would. Uh, Maybe why. only only lighter is very dangerous for kids. <laughs> okay, the lighter's not dangerous, right? How they they can't hurt themselves with tobacco and the paper to make a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> only the lighter. <laughs> Of course, you notice it doesn't mention matches, but all right. I don't know. That one's just crazy. Rolling paper is the cigarette paper you use. If Some people roll their own cigarettes. 
Uh, do people roll their own cigarettes, Heidi, in Japan? Mm-hmm. What's the ro rolling paper? It's uh, cigarette paper, just small, tiny pieces of white paper, and you, oh, you sprinkle the tobacco in there. And in Japan. You, you roll it up yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. But right. mm, they said mm, the, the dictionary, paper for dictionary is very good <laughs> to roll the tobacco. Really? Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I had no idea. <laughs> That's new information for me. All right. Well, so we're learning, people, learning all the time. Very poor people, like uh, homeless, they okay. get a, a bad tobacco bed, and uh, uh -huh. they get uh, that inside <laughs> tobacco. Then they, they get a dictionary. Uh, paper, dictionary paper. Dictionary paper. No mm -hmm. kidding. It's okay. Very Maybe see next uh, in uh, any uh, any books. Very interesting. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, well there you go. Uh, very interesting. All right. Uh, okay, Sasha, did people roll their own, own cigarettes in your country? Is that a normal thing? Um, no, but I see it in uh, shops. It's the tobacco and rolling paper. Yeah. Being Felt, but uh, somebody maybe, does. Maybe some people are rolling paper, but uh, I think it isn't with tobacco. Ah, I it's see. Different. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, older people and some younger people became kind of popular young smokers in like the 80s. There was a sort of a naturalist movement. So some smokers started doing this. Anyway, you used to see it all the time back 20 years ago. I don't know about it anymore, but... All right, uh, Sasha, can you read the next one? Uh, yeah. Mis missiles may not be sh shot at parade participants. Race, race sign, United States, Wisconsin. Mm. Up there in racing. Uh, okay, good, good policy. Missiles. <laughs> What's that? First word. Missiles. Missiles. Well, well, that's the crux of the matter. That's the important word here. That is the operative word. That is the key word. Okay. Uh, missiles are usually, well, um, a, a nuclear warhead is one kind of missile. <laughs> uh, an ICBM. Uh, but also, of course, there's anti-tank missiles. There's anti-personnel missiles. There's missiles that are fired from warplanes. Uh, generally, that's what we think of as missiles. Missiles fired from a submarine. Generally, in English, when we talk about missiles, that's what we mean. How about the shooting a rifle? <laughs> uh, uh, no, that's legal. No, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, the bullet is would could be considered a missile actually. Mm -hmm. Literally. The m literal dictionary meaning of missile is anything that is shot as a projectile from one place to another. Uh, so missiles went, you know, they the missiles shot into space and they, they threw men up to the moon eventually. I mean, many countries had missile programs to, you use missiles to launch satellites into space. Um, my American friend said, uh, in, in Japan, uh, the New Year's Day is very quiet, it's religious. But in America, they uh, they have a party or something. Then yeah. uh, firework, a uh, lot of fireworks or something. Then yeah. uh, people shot <laughs> right <laughs> there, right? <laughs> Some idiots, I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, Heidi is hitting on the, the missiles. Also, some kinds of fireworks could be considered as missiles. I think that's exactly what this means because the 4th of July, as Heidi just said, includes a lot of people shooting rockets or missiles. You can, uh, Sasha, you can also say rockets, missiles, rockets. Basically, they mean the same thing. Rockets, a little bit different. A missile means something that's shot out the rocket means something propelled slightly different but uh, fourth of July also includes parades lots of parades fourth of July so I wouldn't 
be surprised if this is ex if that is exactly the reason why this law was made to stop people being shot at with fireworks <laughs> in the parade. <laughs> okay. So it basically anyway. means that uh, fireworks are not allowed. Well, uh, they've covered everything. You're not allowed to shoot a nuclear missile either or fire a gun or anything else. Uh, so they got it all covered there. Actually, in this case, the choice of the word missiles pretty much covers everything. Um, yeah, basically, I use a slingshot to shoot a stone at you. That, that would be a missile as well. So they mm -hmm. actually did a good job in this case of covering all their bases. <laughs> Uh, protecting everything. Uh, okay. Uh, Pavel, next, please. <clears throat> uh, then being attacked by a criminal or bugler, you may only protect yourself with uh, the same weapon uh, that the other, other, other person processes. Uh, Arizona, United States. Yeah, only in Arizona could they come up with something as stupid as this. So, uh, if you break into my house, Pavel, I have to ask you a few questions before you attack me. Uh, what exactly is your weapon? <laughs> weapon. Uh, weapon. 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 Yeah. Weapon. Weapon. Yeah. As in, do you have a knife? Do you have a gun? Do you have a blunt candlestick? Do you have a club? Do you have a sword? I'm only allowed to protect myself with the same weapon that you have <laughs> as a criminal. <laughs> strange, but I think uh, in uh, the Arizona, uh, any, anybody have a gun? A gun? <laughs> well, they most certainly, they do have, uh, not only are they allowed to have a gun, of course, but they're also allowed to have a concealed weapon in Arizona. Legally, which means they can hide a gun under their jacket or under their under their coat. So yeah, Sasha says it's fair for the criminal. criminal. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes in the United States, we're a little too concerned about the fair rights of criminals. Frankly, <laughs> that's a little bit too much, in my opinion. And seriously, who's going to take the time to find out what possess what what weapon do you have? Or only protect yourself. For example, how about your wife? Well, that's a good question, and and obviously, that's a very good question. I don't know. That's a, that's <laughs> what's called a poorly written law. You can't tell from this. That's that's a very good question. I have no idea. All right, the next ones are kind of goofy. Oh, here's here's a good one. I bet you guys didn't know. I didn't know this. Uh Heidi, can you read this one? Heidi, are you there? Heidi, I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. Uh, so my connection is very poor today. Uh, all right. Okay. No problem. Okay, Heidi, how about this next one? Can you uh, read no, this one? no person may keep us. Smelly dog. <laughs> yes. Is that a good law or what? Okay. <laughs> okay. What I want to know is who is in charge of smelling? <laughs> uh, no, this dog passes. This dog's okay. Could use a little bath, but he's okay. Oh, yeah, definitely smelly. Arrest that man. <laughs> Okay, well, all right. You, if, if you don't like smelly dogs, then the place for you is Galesburg, Illinois, United States. That's where you should go. Uh, okay, the, the amazing one that I, I saw here that I think is just crazy um, is, uh, is, is this one up here. Uh, Sasha, I did not know this one. Uh, no person may appear as a contestant contestant in more than one game show a year. Uh, contestants. I, yes. I a contestant. Uh, okay, contestant is one of the participants. 
one of the people. You know what a game show is? Is it a uh, rival, uh, like rival? A uh, game show is a television show in which they have people come up from the audience and then maybe they there's many kinds of game shows. Who wants to be a millionaire is a game show. Okay, they ask them questions. If they get the questions right, they win money. Uh, there's tons and tons of game shows. People somehow compete, perhaps with other people, compete against the clock to win prizes or and or money. A televised game, basically, is a game show. A contestant is the person who's trying to win a prize on a game show. Okay? So, Jeopardy, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, these are game shows. Alexander brought BRB. Oh, okay. Did he? I didn't see that. It's kind of walked away in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, I found this one quite surprising. Uh, so if you're a contestant on a game show, on a television game show, you're not allowed to be on more than one a year. Hmm. That is very strange, and I don't know how they go about enforcing that law. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's the one I was telling Pavel about earlier. In Norway, prostitution is illegal, but being a prostitute is not. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That, that okay. reminds <laughs> me of... Nice, nice <laughs> George hmm. Carlin. Money is legal, love is legal. Why? <laughs> <laughs> love for money is illegal. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I don't know. I, I, I know. I can't even wrap my head around how they conceive of this, how one can be one and not the other. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Those are pretty crazy ones. Uh, and this one's true. I've seen this one before. I, I lived in New Orleans. Uh, okay. Pavel, can you read this one? Uh, no smoking uh, signs uh, shall be placed on all floats used to, during a parade. Parade. Okay. More parade laws. Strangely, a lot of laws about parades, but okay. Well, does this make sense? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's interesting, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's strange, of course. Uh, no smoking signs. <laughs> uh, it 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 makes sense if uh, it's a parade of smoker uh, 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 smokers maybe. <laughs> yeah, a smokers parade. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Maybe a parade in, that would be a, some kind of a parade in, uh, I don't know, a Greensboro, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North North Carolina, the home of Marlboro. <laughs> okay. Could be. Uh, all right. It, it kind of makes sense, though. If you've ever seen the things they make these floats out of, floats are the, the big things. They're made out of a truck and a platform, and they build something big on it out of paper mache or flowers sometimes, balloons or whatever. Some of those things look pretty flammable to me, frankly. And the way in New Orleans, when there's a parade, frankly, you are packed in there. You can't move. So if one of them caught on fire, definitely people are going to die because you can't, you could never escape. Plus, you remember, this is where you can't tie your horse on the side of the road. The roads are very, very narrow, so there's nowhere to go. <laughs> so if a float catches flame, catches on fire, well, I can see that being big trouble. Uh, the next one's interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, 
uh, Sasha. Town records may not be kept where liquor is whole is sold. Okay. Town right. records. Do you know what town records are? No, no. Okay, that would include your. Um, in the United States, for example, you pay federal tax to the country, state tax to the state. You pay uh, town tax or municipal tax, probably, or your property tax, your property tax records, probably, possibly your birth certificate, um, any sales of land in that t in each town are kept in a some kind of official public building. Uh, th those kinds of things, land transactions, business record, uh, business licenses, all those kinds of things. Well, this law makes sense, right? Uh, to be honest, I don't understand. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, some taxes <coughs> may not be kept where liquor is sold. Yeah, town Does records, mean, like paper records, like files. Uh, files of the record, the official document, you sold me land, the official copy of my license to be a dentist, uh, my birth certificate, the original copy, those kinds of things. Those are public uh, records. Um, Liquor shops can uh, keep. <laughs> yeah, they cannot keep them. That that would be bad. Uh, Liquor uh, tends to burn. <laughs> yeah, so that kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, got it, got it. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> really, a nuisance crime. Okay, this is a crime that only gets a small fine. Uh, all right, uh, Heidi. Okay. One commit a uh, nuisance if he or she leaves a large amount of trash in their own vehicle. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now, this oh, may seem vehicle. stupid. <laughs> in their own vehicle. Now, this may seem stupid, but in reality, I have seen this before living in America. You First of all, you have to understand that a, a bag of garbage... Uh, I, I don't know, a garbage bag size, it maybe that's not a standard size for all you guys. Uh, a plastic bag, which maybe holds, uh, I have no idea, um, I don't know, 5 liters, 10 liters, 10 liters, I, I'm not sure. But anyway, a regular size garbage bag costs about $10 to throw away in the United States. Mm -hmm. So poor people will buy an old car and they'll just keep throwing the garbage inside the old car. <laughs> they'll buy an old car for like $50, but then they'll just keep throwing their bags of garbage, which would cost them $10 a piece to throw away, into the old car. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, this, this actually happens. So I actually can understand this law. I, I seriously have seen this before. Uh, okay. The next one, also, I have seriously seen before, and I know all about this. Uh, uh, Max, can you read this one? If you, if you live on the main street and want to paint your house, the colors must be approved by the historical society. It's, it's, uh -huh. It seems logical. <laughs> Seems logical. Uh, really, it seems logical to you. This is in Hingham, Massachusetts. They have the same law in New Orleans, for sure. Uh, why does it seem logical? Mm. It's like uh, if everyone uh, will be painting in uh, different colors. It would be seems very loud. <laughs> okay. okay. If, All right. If one one style, 
more. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Oh, collective decorating. <laughs> okay. To an American, this sounds very, very weird. You can't tell me what color to paint my house. But in some places, you can. <clears throat> Hingham, Massachusetts. Um, in the French Quarter, not the rest of the city, in the French Quarter, a large section of New Orleans, they absolutely, the balconing, railing, uh, any decorative ironwork, the way the windows, the window sashes, everything must be exactly as it was in 1700. That is down to the color of the paint. And they actually have samples of the color of the paint of every house in the French Quarter. This is like, a, mm -hmm. I don't know, 20 blocks by 20 blocks. It's a pretty big area of the city. Sure. So you are here. Sure. in Japan, the very historical place. There are many uh -huh. tourists who came from the world. Then at the right. end of the uh, city, uh, main street, uh, there are around only s several uh, historical colors. Uh, for example, there is McDonald's. Usually McDonald's uh -huh. has uh, uh, red and yellow, right? But right. in Kyoto, only uh, brown and maybe ah. very dark color. Okay. So uh, I see. Okay, I've seen actually. I've seen McDonald's do that in the United States. They go away from their normal red and yellow colors to mm -hmm. sort of blend in with the environment. Right. Okay. All right. It, it, to a large degree, it does make sense. Um, Historical. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here's where I'm from. Dumb laws in Vermont. It is illegal to deny the existence of God. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and here, here's some lovely laws that, of course, we all don't follow because they're ridiculous. Um, Sasha, I like this one. What do you think? Women must obtain written permission from their husbands to wear <laughs> false teeth. <laughs> Brilliant law. <laughs> I want to Sometimes. shake that lawyer's hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> very funny. <laughs> yes. uh, interesting. Why? <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Probably <laughs> some state senator didn't like his wife's false teeth. Probably. Uh, yes, and he, that's about uh, it. And uh, he wanted uh, to maybe sue her, sue, sue her but uh, he yeah. didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Uh, I, I sometimes I see a law like this, and it, it seems like it must be personal. <laughs> sure. I guess and then uh, the next law as well. I mean, this is just totally goofy. Uh, at one time, it, now this law has been repealed. It's no longer the law, but at one time it was illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole in Vermont. <laughs> Vermont is cold. It's it's very cold. Not a lot of giraffes running around. Uh, the only thing I can think of is in the, around the turn of the century, the 19th century, 1890s, 1900, 1910, 20, 30 years there. In America, it was very, very, com uh, very common to have traveling circuses. The tents and the elephants and the giraffes and the clowns and the strong man and all of that. Uh, and they were extremely common. So maybe uh, it has to do with that. Here's some dumb laws in Thailand. Hey, hello, our Thai friends. Uh, Pavel, can you read this? Whoops. Uh, no. Oh, I skipped. Yeah, go ahead, Pavel. <laughs> okay, it's illegal to leave uh, your house if you are not wearing underwear. Underwear. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's <laughs> it's interesting law for Thailand. I think uh, I think uh, uh, I don't sure, but uh, I think. Uh, 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 a lot of uh, Thai, Thai, Thailand, not Thailand. 
uh, people uh, of uh, ties. Yeah, ties. Mm -hmm. Ties. Uh, ties uh, don't uh, uh, don't uh, wear underwear. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't now, know exactly, but uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the temperature in Thailand uh, is ah. very hot. Yeah, okay, it's very hot. All right. You've been to Thailand. I know that, Pavel. I, I thought yes. maybe you would know something about this. <laughs> 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 okay. Hmm. Is, is this true, Paul? You must wear a shirt while driving a car. Do you find that uh, you don't see any shirtless drivers? <laughs> uh, you must wear a shirt while driving a car. Uh, okay. And most importantly, if you go to Thailand, please remember this. You may no one may step on any of the nation's currency. You may not step on Thai money. That is a crime. Please remember that uh, and be careful. A king's face goes printed. Precisely. That's that is got to be the reason. Yeah, that's right. The king's face is printed on the money. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, I hope you found that uh, amusing. Maybe learned a little bit of vocabulary uh, but we are definitely out of time thank you very much guys and I'll see you next time thank you have very a good much. evening thank you bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.